Lovely. It's on your list of to look at Nasoma as a What was they saying? <laughs> <laughs> you sound so beautiful. You guys are so pretty. You. You're so beautiful. You. Welcome to the show. My name is Lucy Menra. This is my testimony. And today I am hanging out with the ladies of Egemeo worship. So, no men allowed. Yeah. <laughs> ladies, ladies, ladies. Yeah. How are you? How are you? I try to introduce from my far right. So, hi guys and praise Jesus. My name is Milka Maliki from Egemeo Koshi and I'm blessed to be here. Thank you. Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Miriam Marita from Egemeo Worship and I'm happy to be on the show today. Hello, praise God. I'm Hilda from Egemeo and I'm privileged to be here. Mm -hmm. Hi everyone. I am Millicent Orenge, also from Egemeo Worship, and I am honored to be on this show today. Praise God. I'm Rehema Imara from Egemeo Team, and I'm so happy to be here today. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, Tracy from Egemeo Worship. Beyond honored to be here. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much. So apart from Egemeo Worship, what else do you guys do? What are you into? I'll start here. I'm Sal. I'm at the altar. Back in Nakuru. Um, I serve with the Bishop Jude Anthony Mane, God of all grace. Mm -hmm. Yes, and mm -hmm. I serve as a full time minister. Oh, wow. Yes, I'm a worship leader. Uh -huh. yeah. How is it? It is an honor mm -hmm. to serve God upon an altar. Mm -hmm. It is a big honor for me mm -hmm. that I can never take it for granted. Wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, currently, I work at Twain TV in mm -hmm. Nakuru County mm -hmm. um, under Bishop Dr. Charles Marita. So that is why I'm operations. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. For me, uh, I'm a worship leader in Nakuru County. Mm -hmm. It's called the Lewis Church in Babel. Mm -hmm. It's a in Babel. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm a student. Mm -hmm. yes. Wow. So you guys are into, all of you are into ministry? Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I am a student as well. I also do ministry. I serve the praise and worship in my church. This can dance it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, into the same with me, myself, and our bishop, Prince Nantika, from Bishop Church, the Makuri. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just serving praise and worship in Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. yeah, same thing, uh, serving in praise and worship in children's ministry. Um, my bishop is Bishop Daniel Machuma from Kiamuli, praise and worship in mm -hmm. yeah. Children ministry, you mean Sunday school? Sunday school. <laughs> oh, <laughs> why Sunday school? <laughs> there was a time we, we, we lacked workers uh, in, our, in <laughs> our ministry to do the children ministry. So I just saw the children are playing and I felt in my spirit I have something to say. Mm -hmm. So I gathered them around and started teaching Bible stories and it the, the, the group grew and grew and that's how mm -hmm. I the children. What's your favorite Bible story? 
favorite Bible story is the story of Daniel and the Day of Lights. Mm-hmm. It's it it is so mesmerizing and it's 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 so unique. Like a a, a group of hungry lions, the Lord can just silence their mouths, and another group comes and they are swallowed immediately even before they. So and it was it is an inspiration because uh, the king asked Daniel, I, I, the God whom you serve continuously, I know He will deliver you. So the the act of service to God in consistency and in continually is 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 what delivered Daniel from the pit. Mm-hmm. So that is an inspiration. Daniel was I am man, so mm-hmm. uh, much inspiration. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now we are all young men. Yeah. Pretty yeah. and in ministry. Yeah. So today I just want us to talk matters life. Yeah. Boys, books, career, everything. Mm-hmm. Okay, Sasa who is who is dating? Like hundred percent, hundred percent, fifty percent, okay, eighty <laughs> five. Book on a story. So being in ministry mm-hmm. and being um, in a relationship, what's the foundation of your relationship? Our foundation is Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. That's what it's because we never met to mm-hmm. we, met, we met at the church. And so meeting at the first time, he knew that I serve on the God. And um, of course, Jesus will be the foundation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's what he knew mm-hmm. that uh, uh, this is my ministry and he supports me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Student minister. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, just say simple. I'll still say the same as he just said. It's okay, actually, we met at the church and we served the same church mm-hmm. and uh, for me I always tell ladies like we we will all get married we are not home mm-hmm. that we won't one day get married and so it reaches a point and uh, okay <laughs> the foundation is is Christ for me and uh, I have You're the speechless right. yes I have the words <laughs> but they ain't coming out uh, okay just what do I okay I'll just say it's just following the word of God. Then you, I'm a student. I'm I'm, I'm a worship leader, and at, the, at this side, I'm dating. So it's basically you just uh, know God. Just usi break is or Just mm-hmm. don't break like like sex before marriage. You you, you definitely know them. So for me, it's just just read the Bible and just following it. What God is saying, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Don't go against the word. Yeah. yeah, and you know, we we've all been in relationships which have failed, and others have worked. If I may ask, what's what's your what's your experience? Where do I start? And why are you? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say I'm single. Oh wow! <laughs> anyway, well, my experience has been good, not so good in the past, but as you grow older, it mm-hmm. turns become more mature you you realize what you want and what you're looking for mm-hmm. so it gets to a point where you don't want to kids people especially if you're in ministry mm-hmm. there, there are a lot of people who will come with different things trying to pursue you but mm-hmm. when you know who you are and where you stand then mm-hmm. yeah i love for another thing we are, we are seen. We are all seen. Mm-hmm. It is until that guy up there, the Mahari, to have a ring on it. <laughs> Cows are not more. It yeah. is they have to exchange vows on the altar sure. before God mm-hmm. and before men. Mm-hmm. That is the time that you, from that day you will not be single. Mm-hmm. So we are still seen. Yes. Yeah. We will be dating that still seen. I don't know that. I don't know that. I don't know that. I am priceless in God. But there, there are some single people here. <laughs> As young people, and what the Bible commands us 
to do is remain pure. And I think purity is something which in this current generation, purity is not something the young people are putting into a lot of consideration. You know, we go to we go to primary school, you go to high school, you go in boarding school, then after high school we are free. How do you keep the discipline that I was born, bred, brought up in church, and now here I am. I am f like I have the freedom to do whatever I want to do, but I have to stay put. Keeping pure in itself, I think it's a whole, it's a whole discipline in itself. And um, personally, I am a person who advocates for not hating people who hate hell, but they are very comfortable traveling on the road to hell on the way to hell. Mm -hmm. So I am a person who I love and pursue boundaries. That's mm -hmm. one. And yeah, basically that's it. And sometimes people may think that you are extreme. Mm -hmm. But I keep saying sometimes it's not always that what you don't what we are telling you not to do or what I am being asked not to do is sin. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it sets you up for sin. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I think it's the little things. The pre I, I focus a lot on the pre and not when it gets there, <laughs> you see. Mm -hmm. So for me, much of it is on the pre mm -hmm. before we get there. Mm -hmm. What am I supposed to do, or what will I do that would get me there? Mm -hmm. So I, I work on this a lot. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. wow. How do you stay disciplined as a minister, as a young person? Okay, depending on what's happening now in this generation, we try. Yeah, yeah we try mm -hmm. to level best because. What do you think of the emotion? Shetan Pia and a Tunimbi with the Kimbin Kwa Vijan Kwa attack. Because I have a Kiona, you have a bright future. You have a Kiona future, you have a bright at a little small thing. It's not about sex alone, you can say even drugs. You know, but I don't really go to church, like any bad company, or Katitun, or Katimbia with some people. The way you tap out here, you put your bara bara tap out and you will lose focus of work. Like him, you say, when God is the one in control, you allow the Holy Spirit to lead you. Atako anakuwa mukati, you take the rope, you will find yourself just coming back. Allah for us, it is God. Mzazi akati ana lepe, mzazi ana chambi, mzazi akile watoto wakende betwe. Wakati mtoto na grow, you find inafika to a point akitakata kupote the iyo prayer mzizi wako kila time ina kondisho nda the but sometimes a human being will make mistakes mm. but we thank God because we are God of another chance sure. yeah mm -hmm. despite what we do mm -hmm. it is there to guide us in the right path yeah. Yeah. so you're dealing with kids in the children's ministry and kids know a lot nowadays like Kids know a lot. What's like the weirdest question you've had from a child? Kids are observant. Kids learn by observing and imitating. So, so um, a, a, a fellow minister in our church, um, um, maybe Anipata Mtoto Kabla Haja Haja finally. So, Toto and I are not going to be able to get the money. So, yeah. I'm not going to be able to get the money. I'm not going to be able to get the money. I'm not going to be able to get the money. So, if you come up, come up oh, so, just apply. Wisdom is profitable to direct. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm not going to be able to get the money. Akwangi. <laughs> so that is a that is a lie. <laughs> but I think for for the sake of that shall as he as if Kiria Mambo Mengi ama ku paint a picture of Sabu Kulingana na Ulum to Mingina and Baya Meanguka and in Kubo. Maybe as the person grows up at a puja kuele or such yeah. things. But as at a certain age around age when your mamelza eight, kwa wana kwa na classes before in year high school. Where as a Satuna, Tunaka now, to organize Sunday afternoon, to know how high school is like, how they will maintain their relationship with God at our kiwa, mm. Yeah, I think that is one of the craziest mm -hmm. questions. <laughs> yeah. yeah.
Mm-hmm. We are young, born again, living our best lives, friendships and company and circles. How do you ensure that you are in the right circle? How do you ensure that your friends stand for what you stand for? And of course, there are those that they are not really bad people, but they're not born again and they, are, they don't stand for the same values that you stand for. How do you keep your circle what you know your circle should be? I think God has a way of connecting me with people you know, who are able to share values with me. So I will not really complain about friendships. Mm-hmm. Acquaintances, you know, acquaintances yeah. are just acquaintances. Mm-hmm. We, the people you know and people that you can talk but you don't share the same values. But the people who I can get naked with, Naked. Okay. I, I'm, I'm nearly mm. <laughs> Yes, the people I can get naked with and show my new self to are people that I prayed for and God gave them to me. Well, the first thing, character. The way I look at the person is character. How is their character? Um, how the friendship, are they adding value to you or they're, they're devaluing you? Because you can. Be friends with someone and they don't add any value to them, or you don't add any value to them. So for me, that is a key thing. Of course, you can have friends who are not born again, but at the same time, there are boundaries. So you know you don't cross this boundary. And at the same time, they know that I am born again. This is what I believe in. This is what I stand for. And there are some things that I cannot engage in, and there are some things that I cannot do. Yeah. What's What's the most challenging day you've had in ministry? In a point, you're you ministering, and then and you are, you are, you are worshiping, then someone comes and puts a microphone on your hands. So it happened like, for me, it has happened thrice. Yeah. And you just that like the first one happened like this. I was backing. I see my voices. And uh, when backing, a woman came just from the team at a way with a microphone and a side. I just bowed my head, can be a moon moon. You see, Jarribu Kunyatas in the back to not my mother. I will never and then next practice, our leader told me that. Here that you're the one leading service to me. I was like, oh, what do you mean? If I care, I'll leave you. I'm getting an elite. That was the first time. But again, you just, you re- the Holy Spirit reminds you that you're not serving me. You're serving me. It's not about them, it's about me. So you do as I say, or you do as you want. So choose one. So it is about you. And the second time it happened when we were in Nairobi, it was a big meeting, tent meeting. Uh, a host was from Nigeria. Naye went out countries, I can put that in the meeting. Then, so we went with our instruments, set up everything, so we were worshiping. So the team from that area thought we were their competitors. And yet, in, we are serving one God serving one father so there's nothing to compete with. You have your own way of serving him, you have your own way of serving him. But at the end of the day we'll be doing the same thing, serving him. So we serve and that week we were, we were taught about the Holy Spirit and we were there. Like, the Holy Spirit did some part. And a guy came and gave a testimony from Tanzania that we were while we were ministering. He got healed. So while we were us, they competed us. So while I was holding the microphone, Sabine, okay, she, a woman came and picked the microphone. Again, and I stepped back. Then I remember it happened once. No, no, so I remember that it happened more than Then, uh, so I had to measure and just tell God, it's not about me. The truth is not about me. It's, it's all about you. So those are the challenges. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but again, we, we have to move on. Knowing that at the end of the day, we are not serving ourselves. We are not serving anyone. We are doing it unto God. Yeah. Wow. 
you're so calm saying that. I think I'd be just like, kuna screen in how I love you. Yeah, all a past tense. And it is an experience that you learn from so that ukifika huko mali walifika kidani mali walifika walifika usifanyeni hivyo. Ukifikiria kufanya hivyo mtu anakumbuka ili nifanikia. So I have no need to do it because I know the feeling. So let's imagine nikifanya hiyo mtu atafilaje. Ama yeye bado atakuwa hurt more than I was hurt. So na just a lot. So kama unataka labda ni wewe mtu anakuwa anamwambia anaweza kusaidia. Na kama unataka una step back. But kama atakataka then you go. Thank you. Nikuwa ni mimi ngikuwa different story but Ningawa kazi ni sawa by the way I'm done. I'm done here. Turus. That those days I was still here. Ile ya kwanza nilikuwa mdogo. So I think I was 22. No, I'm not 22. I was 19. Ile kasirika. Okay, nili namsha tu hivi. So what we call this other than mina mina za at the meter you like to come up for mina za. Hangi juu chungu nasikia kwa tumbo na kwa boy is that much is ikona mwagika. Mimi na mimi nimekuja kile kile kifanyika Hey. <laughs> uh, I think that brings me to offense. Mm-hmm. We 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 are in ministry we are like you guys are a group. Mm-hmm. And of course it's not all smooth all the time. You will maybe say a statement which will offend me, you do something which will offend me. Mm-hmm. How do you deal with those group dynamics? Rehema, Rehema is a joke and sometimes it happens on a lake to do a dance practice. Rehema kuja tu kwa relative wa kwa kitu sasa wewe and she's totally joking. So for me it's I think it's the heart of understanding each other mm-hmm. when, they, when she does this and a joke. So atakao mekasirika aje just relax. Mm-hmm. So hiyo point ya bingo ni kwa offended I think it's a matter of one's heart just just know someone okay when you want to react mm-hmm. akifanya hivi ana okay hii ako serious akifanya hivi ame hiyo hiyo ni jokes that's so sweet <laughs> <laughs> i i i had someone telling someone wewe kazi yako tu ni kushinda kanisa you see your party are fresh talk about how no offense the answer you get is very okay but to my own point of view i think that is the best place ukishinda hiyo church ukishinda hiyo church umeka Yesu kwa rafiki yako you see god will connect you with friends that you will love in that you see unaona kwenye mti na meme alafu kuna masaa inakauka then inaanza kujitoa hizo mtao so when you spend time with god ushinda na Yesu as your friend that sound of friends when you mean hataki kukuomesha hata watu so hiyo tu and from kushinda church kila saa wewe na Mungu unajua eti ni mnataka pamoja. Mm-hmm. So huyo mwenye ataongea hivyo because hajui. Yeah. Hajui benefits. The Bible says that um, I think the Psalms uh, 24 is it 24? Yeah, I think 24 inasema that eh uh, uh, neno moja ni tamaa ambalo nalitaka sana. Ni nikae mbali mwako siku zote za maisha yangu. So afadhali ukae mbali na Mungu sana. Mm-hmm. Kai, kai in the, in, 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 in some chapter one that's mm-hmm. mm-hmm. so the so afadhali wa boy shio na ukae sana sana kwa Mungu ndani ndio ushayambiwa hivyo unashinda kanisa sana yo yo you're a church mouse <laughs> and then is in mama assumption mtu tu anaona pastor wa kanisa ya shamba ama anajua maisha hiyo kanisa itawao hizo ni assumption sio zenye mtu kukua nayo ukiona ukisaa huko wanaona kama wewe uelewi kitu wewe ni mshamba hizi ni vitu gani unafanya enjoy maisha sio 
as long as you enjoy in your spirit, if the benefit you are getting from there, how is it? Maybe when I say if the foundations will be shaken, where will the rushes? So when I join for invitation, you are coming. So sasingine it can get to you, but good thing we have the Holy Spirit and by mm -hmm. and the Bible says is the helper. Mm -hmm. Kill like keep helper in all things. So kuna anakusaidia mambo ya Mungu na yingine in all things. Mm -hmm. So Holy Spirit anakusaidia tu anakuzungumzia and as long as you are in a in a relationship with him. Mm -hmm. So vitu kama hizo zinakuwa offend but then we can we can help when you are busy. Yes. Wow. Uh, let's talk about the place of prayer. The place of prayer. As a minister, as a young person, you know, life is happening. Ministry, like life in and even too. Today you wake up to this. Tomorrow you wake up to this, and we are, we are, unfortunately, in an. We are living in a period where young people. Have a lot of mental health issues, you know. Someone has committed suicide. Someone has into a major building. First of all, what's what's your view on that? On everything that is happening when it comes to mental health and young people. You see, we are young, and uh, this time, okay, we are young. We are young, we are young and energetic, of course. So, and then, you see, young people. It's okay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I'll do it's not easy to go in your young. I love you. When I pray, pray fast, and you, you are a minister. I love on the other side. When I wanna, you only catch us. You don't even want pray a catch. I love when I wanna, when I, when I a certain, okay, sit up. Need certain things. My camera can't. It's like one year, it's like one five year. But again, when I go on the other side, when I pray a catch, and you are a minister, it's not easy. As young. Young people, it's not easy. So my view about that is, I'll always say, make prayer your life lifestyle. It's not like something. I just don't know what you're doing. Oh, after you come back, what's it going to be Monday? So make it a habit. You see, there's a certain friend of mine who started with, with the grace of, of our Lord Jesus Christ. Even he started like that. Even if you don't want to pray, like is it like you Just start with the grace and make prayer. You have it because we cannot live without God. And you see, prayer. So when you pray, you need direct. You need it's a it's a it's one strong communication to God that you make each and every day and each and every moment we live. So just make prayer you have it. I know it's not easy for young people like us, but just try and make it a lifestyle. Yeah. I'll ask you the same question. For the place of prayer, and prayer discipline, because honestly, it is not easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I have come to learn that most things in life, and even in our spirituality, they require a lot of intentionality. Just being intentional. Yeah. And uh, I used to think personally. I used to think that now because you're born again, and you're told the Holy Spirit is your helper, and when you want to pray, you should just being able to pray and then he's supposed to be able to do it every day any kwabili a holy spirit it's not <laughs> it's not it's not about you yani build me the spirit of god but i came to learn god was teaching me the same way we as ladies we invest in our hair you oil your hair you know you want to see your hair grow you mm -hmm. take it you do your hair, you make your hair. The intention is one. Yeah. You want to have longer hair or you want to look good. You see the kind of effort that you put in your hair. It's the same thing. The principles are just the same. Mm -hmm. Consistency. Even the basic things of life. You cannot achieve the, the basic things of life without being intentional mm -hmm. and consistent. Showing up our jobs, for example. We should, even in school, you don't want to go to class, but because you know this lecturer will tell you you didn't come to my class, you can't take my exam. Mm -hmm. You show up, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not, I've come to learn, it's not based on what you feel or what you want. Mm -hmm. It's about being intentional. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like it, but God, I'll show up. Mm -hmm. Just count me in today. Mm -hmm. I showed up even if I don't do any mm -hmm. intentionality mm -hmm. and consistency. Mm -hmm. And the time just like she said, mm -hmm. you realize God helps you to expand, mm -hmm. to grow to an extent that you start to love and to pray. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't do, you really can't do without it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Now, a game worship. 
um, I'll ask you how, when did you join and how has Egeme Worship changed your life? I joined Egeme Worship in March. We had uh, auditions. I managed to do auditions. Um, then I was so good and with me. Good luck, Shaku, Shaku, Piki, Akamu, Baliwa. Then I was, I was called to Monica, in Kanju, so I started um, in March. The third week in March. Um, a game of worship is, has, I, I have decided to join a game of worship for some time. And once this opportunity came, I, I still hesitate, I just went in, and I thank God for the opportunity. Now, uh, we have a uh, our teacher, who is Mr. Kuroa Babete, who is a huge influence in our lives. So the fact that we are under his mentorship, uh, under his teaching, his direction, has inspired us in many ways, especially me. In terms of ile um, in terms of vocals, teaches us a lot of things worship and what it entails, what our worshippers should do, has really uh, empowered us in many ways. Then just the exposure, kusafiri na yeye, kuona jinsi anavyo relate, anavyo worship uh, in huge meetings, the exposure is very beneficial to us. So I am, I am still overwhelmed <laughs> being here. Wow. Yeah. Who's the oldest in Egomeo? Like when you're in the for long. Oldest. Two, two, two of them. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who? Yeah, oh, when, when did you join? Yeah. Oh, yeah, much. Mm -hmm. How has it been? I just read that you got to name the auditions. Then, well, it was hot. What was the audition? <laughs> we were over, over 200, 200. Yeah. Over 200 people. But, <laughs> Let me say, it was an honor to be part of the of those that were qualified by God to join. You see, um, unenda unapata. Hey, what we call a sound? And you're like, oh God. Sasa mimi niki pita zito kuzi tu niki kasa kupita pia zito kuzi. But at the end, una 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 kuchia kama una kujua sebo na sebo una sema. So it was a first of all, it was a good feeling, mm -hmm. and then another thing you say, This is God. Yeah, this is God. A game is a let me start is a vision that was given to the servant of God, God will, to start a sound, a sound of revival in a cool. So to be part of it is a is an honor. Mm -hmm. yeah, it is an honor. Mm -hmm. So, I can't remember what you're saying. So, you're like, I'm But it is a, it has been a blessing journey. When you're talking about it, you're going to be able to do it. But when we were stretched, we were stretched. 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 Both, both in terms of the course, spiritually. In terms of prayer, in terms of on how to serve, we've learned a lot. Mm -hmm. But we have learned a lot. You see, how to find the two kuima, how to find the two kusima makos kwa altar. We don't call it as the call it an altar. How to find the two jinsi ya kuima sauti ni, and how to find the mengi concerning worship because this is the game of worship. So he teaches us a lot of lots of things concerning worship. That worship includes prayer, includes your sacrifice, how you give your sacrifice. So he has taught us, taught us much. And when it comes to the when it came to the time of our uh, live recording, Sasa happened when it was I don't know. The live recording itself has its own testimony that you must go with. But concerning a game, let me say that it has been great until now. So thank you so much, ladies. Um, maybe a lady here will take us on a break. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll have Minister Godwill Babette. Twimbieni Kawimbo as she... You take the break then, you see. All right. Uh, this is my testimony. Thank you so much for staying with us. We're taking a short break. Don't go too far. We'll be right back.
experience <laughs> I honestly cannot sing to save my life but I'll hang out with these ladies more then by association yeah I'll get a really good voice yeah. we're going for a short break then we'll come back with minister Malimu Godwill Babete mm-hmm. 